On this video, we're going to go over a potential issue that can arise as you continue to build your 3D scene. So we've got the uh, car imported into our 3D scene, and we're under the editor here, so we can see the car just fine. At this point, we do not have a camera in our scene. There's no camera here. So if we come over to the toolbox, we can bring a camera over. And now we have a camera in our scene. And let's position this camera. We'll back it up here a little bit. Let's move it this way, and let's just rotate its uh, view over here toward the camera. To rotate, you press R on the keyboard. That'll bring up the rotate gizmo. And now we've got the camera positioned here, pointed at the car. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Hit T for translate. Bring it up a little bit. Let's rotate the view down just a little. That should be a pretty nice view of our car. So let's go ahead and switch to the camera view. We're on the editor view. And when we switch over to the camera view, hey, what's going on? Now this, this always comes up at first. But if you stop and think about it, what's going on is that there's no lights in this scene. The scene is completely dark. So to fix this issue, just drag down a light. Got a light in our scene. You can now see that we have a light. We can position the light and we can see our car. Now what if you don't want to add lights? What if you just want uh, default, you know, like a default ambient lighting? Or what if you just want to illuminate with the texture uh, UV maps that you have on the car itself? Well, there is another way to do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and delete the light for a second. So now our scene's disappeared. We'll go back to the editor view. And to better illustrate this and the functionality here, I'm going to go ahead and go over to imports. And I'm going to bring in the primitives as well. So we got all these primitives here. We'll go ahead and bring them into our scene. And we'll move them over here. We'll scale them up, S, uh, to scale them up. And let's just get them out of the way here for a little bit. All right, so we've got this uh, scene. Now at this point, again, from the camera view, so it's all completely dark. Now if we come over here and go under, under Solution Options, you can see that under the Solution Options, we have some default configurations. And one of them is a default shader configuration. So basically, we have a lot of objects that have a, they're a mesh, a 3D mesh with one texture. And right now, you can see that their shader is a shader for a, uh, you know, it's got the ability to have a texture, but it also is requiring a light. So if we want to just uh, illuminate this scene with no lights whatsoever and just use the texture maps themselves on full illumination, all you have to do is come down here and select Ref Trans Ref Tex. Go ahead and select that, and you'll see that the scene now is fully lit in our camera view. So editor view is very similar to camera view now and we don't have any lights in the scene. So if you just had a lightweight scene, uh, you know, you've got all the lighting baked into your texture maps, this is a great option. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back here and say, what if we want a light? Well, let's just do this. We'll drag a light into the scene now. And we want this, uh, this car to go ahead and have uh, the light affect the car, but not all the primitives. Well, to do that, you just select the car body and you'll go ahead and, and come over here to its appearance, and you'll see that it has the um, ref trans ref tex uh, shader. So if we come over here under our shaders, we can select a shader for one light. So let's uh, look here through these shaders. We have um, ref trans ref, ref, yeah, we'll go with this one, ref trans light one, so one light with a color texture, and we'll drag this on to the appearance. And you can see that now the car independently of all the other objects, is being affected by this light. And in fact, if we delete the light itself out of the scene, the car is in darkness and we see all the primitives. Now the reason the wheels and some of those other smaller objects are not dark is because we only applied that shader to the car body. So hopefully this video gives you some understanding of these systems, the potential gotcha here with the, uh, the objects coming in in just a, a dark state. You need to add a light. You've got a lot of control in CGI Studio. In Scene Composer, you can set up many, many different settings to, uh, to just give you an incredible level of control. So, all right, we'll talk.